Good morning guys, it's day two. We've arrived at Starbucks. It's good to shop local, good to support the local economy. Um, I've just gotten myself coffee. I think I've got a, a big fan, the guy who took my order has written love hearts on my drink, so that's nice. How are you, Chris? Splendid. Are you enjoying Lisbon? Fantastic. Are you enjoying the company? There's a castle up there that I haven't pointed out to you. Oh, yeah. I think it's called, like, St. George. St. Jorge. Are we going to go up there today? Right, Chris has just nipped into a bakery and got us four custard... Yeah, that's smooth. Is it wet? No, it just looks wet. Okay. Maybe right. it's a little bit wet. <laughs> oh, well. We've got some custard top. Mmm, from... Pastel de Nata. Mantegaria. Mantegaria. Fab. Open them up then and show me what they look like. They're not custard tarts, are they? They're pastel de Nata. That is a custard tart. It's not just It is so a custard tart. It's unbelievable. Well, obviously here I call it pastel de Nata, but it's a custard tart. Oh. They even translate it on the thing saying custard tart. Uh, there they are. So this is the best place in Lisbon to get them, by the way. Is and it? Then, yeah, it is. Why? And then you get, I don't know, it's just got all the... It, right, it's just do very, a taste it's very well known. So you also get this, by the way. Oh. Do you want this? Is that sugar? Nope. What is it? Hold the crystal. Hold the natural. Cinnamon! <laughs> cinnamon. Do you like cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. And you just want a little bit on top like that. That's crazy. Like, off you go. Off you go. Have a great time. Mm. So oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so much better than a custard tart from my <laughs> home from Sainsbury's. Why are they so nice? They're so mm. crispy as well. Sticky, mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's raining today. It is starting to rain. It's not very nice weather. Mm, I can see the water down there. Oh yeah, that's the thing. That's so yeah. cool, is it? Yeah, if you want to do, take a look at it. So apparently this tram's super famous, it's all spray painted. We actually haven't been on a tram yet, but they're really cute watching them like drive around the city. I mean, it's just graffiti, isn't it? Not sure if it's... Oh, it's quite cool. Interesting. It's really pretty. Yeah. Here we are for brunch. This is more like lunch now. Uh, I've got pancakes, toast, scrambled eggs, and granola yogurt. This is much better than that place in Barcelona where we had the oh, single yeah. rasher of bacon and the single fried egg. That was so <laughs> bad. And they didn't even bring, remember when they hadn't brought like the orange juice and stuff that we paid for? And the most random latte you've <laughs> ever seen. In yeah, there. this looks good though. Right, my mum's going to kill me, but we are going to hire some scooters, downloaded the app, and uh, going to go along with but right by the water, and they've got these cycle lanes, so we're going to just have a go on them. So I'm going to try not to die. Yeah, don't watch this bit, mum. That was difficult. It's actually really hard on your forearms, or I find it is, because you're like trying to keep yourself up. Which do you think was hard? Yes, I did, um, and my feet hurt. But mine goes faster than Chris's. We had a little race, and I think mine goes about five kilometers a mile, an hour faster than Chris's. I don't know what that is, miles per hour. And sing. And sing. Cut. Right, we've just found ourselves at a place called LX Factory, and it looks like it's full of little independent shops and like eateries and things like that. So we're gonna have a little browse. Shall I get an ostrich head for my room? What? Seen these no, what are these? Oh, well, normally, when you put them together, I think the light comes on. Oh, wow. Lucy and I are actually looking for a neon sign for our dining room. Don't know if any of these would apply, but... Oh, we could get the one that says home. That's lame. <laughs> Okay, this lamp beats my penguin lamp. Sorry. It's a massive duck holding the light. That's so good. I love these. <gasps> Little Dachshund. And just like that, we're in San Francisco. Uh, doesn't it look like the San Francisco Bridge? Right, just a small snack for Joel. Uh, just gone for three Profits of Rolls and a Pepsi Max. And Chris has gone for ice cream. Healthy boy compared to me. I'm a greedy, horrible, fat bastard. Look at me. Right, it is the end of day two. Is it day two? I've lost track. Um, we basically today had a bit of a chill day. So after the last bit of footage you saw doing some touristy stuff, the weather wasn't great today. So we came back, had a nap, 
and then went down to the pool and laid by the pool for a couple of hours. And then we just went out for dinner tonight. We went out for a burger, went to a really nice place. I think it's called like Connect Burger or something like that. And I had a really good chicken burger with like garlic mayonnaise. It was just so good. Then we went to a couple of bars on a, a street called Pink Street and it was painted pink and it was really cool. There was a live band playing. And um, yeah, then we've just come back home. We've got a, we're gonna go for breakfast somewhere at like 9 a.m. tomorrow. So we decided to have an early uh, night, even though it's not that early. I'll see you guys in the morning. Guys, I just finished my breakfast and I forgot to film any of it. It's, it's all gone. It was the nicest bagel I think I've ever had. It was egg, pesto, bacon, it was just so nice. Got a protein shake. And you can tell how fast I ate it because Chris is not even halfway through his. <laughs> Don't really know what's going on, but there's uh, people riding horses. What is going on? I don't know what's happening. What is going on? Guys, there's literally people running after the horses and always cheering. I don't know what's going on. I feel like we should be running after them as well. <laughs> Look, it's mental. The sun has well and truly come out now. I've taken my top off, trying to get a tan. This is the steepest hill in history. We're walking to the top of the hill because there's a big castle at the top of it. I think I've shown you, but honestly, this is difficult. Look at this. Chris was just saying how this would make a really nice like boutique hotel. Love it. There's lots of um pretty rundown buildings here. Like I don't mean pretty rundown, like <laughs> pretty and rundown buildings that would make lovely like I don't know cafes or hotels or whatever. If only I had the money to do it. Look at the bus trying to squeeze down these tiny streets. Oh that is mental. Here's our next pastel de nata. Another day, another custard tart. <sighs> they look stunning. Well, let's go, thank you. We found this nice little spot where the bus was trying to turn around. So we got some tarts from the bottom. And then here we go. Thank you, gracias. Obrigado. I keep getting the wrong word. Right, we've come to the top of the hill. We're at the castle. Um, finally made it. I, don't, I haven't seen any castle yet, so I will show you, but this view is just stunning. Look at that. So nice. Look, thank you. <laughs> I've never seen one with white in its tail before. Do you want to show us your tail? No. So as I think I said when we went to Sintra, the one thing Lisbon lacks in general is like any informative plaques. About like we're in the middle of the castle. There's not one single stop where you can stop and read information about when this castle was built, what it was used for, where are we standing right now? There's literally nothing. So I'm like, very nice, but I wanna know, like, I wanna know about it, but they don't seem to do that. Very frustrating. This is our rooftop pool. Oh, what my days. That is so nice. Quiet as well. And that is it guys for the Lisbon trip. Oh my gosh, it's gone so quickly. I've been looking, look at my hair, wow. I've been looking forward to the Lisbon trip for so long. It's just gone so, so quickly. That's really sad. Anyway, I realized I didn't film 
any of the evenings that we had and that's because I didn't want to take my camera with me so yeah sorry for there being sort of no Lisbon nightlife but last night we went to a place called mini bar it was so good it was basically a place with a tasting menu so we had about seven courses and it was so good so if you're ever in Lisbon I really recommend going to mini bar anyway as you can see I'm the only one here Chris left this morning at about 5 30 a.m it's now 7 30 a.m his flight is leaving probably about now um, and my flight leaves at 10.55, so I have about an hour to get ready. I just thought I'd show you something so cute though. So Chris has like gone, I need to pack up my stuff, and I forgot to bring toothpaste. I didn't know whether the 75 milliliter allowance applied to toothpaste or not, and my toothpaste was quite big. So I was like, I'll buy some at the airport. Forgot to buy some at the airport. So I've been using Chris's toothpaste the whole trip. And look, when I come in here, he's got my toothbrush ready. He put some toothpaste on my toothbrush, ready, because he knew I didn't have any. So cute. Thank you, Chris. Anyway, it's time for me to get ready now. I'm gonna have a coffee and fly home. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos every single week, kind of, nearly. <laughs> um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.